Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Yeah. I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. that delusion. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Rabbit! No! Not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new wonder emerge. Pollution. Corruption. It's killing me. Wonderland is destroyed. My mind is in ruins. Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie, your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Her to say, all died on my account, I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. 
cheek. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she kinda remember her name? What I heard. Nurse Witness, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink. Lord Mao needs washing. Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris, or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My god, I'm shrinking in this potion. Shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. The Vorpal Blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. It's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners. And I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a porcine diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice. And you're just the dish. A girl to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will.
The Hatter's Domain, almost as I remember it. Appearances, as you know better than most, can be deceiving, Alice. Much has changed since your last visit. Dr. Bumby says change is constructive, that different is good. Different denotes neither bad nor good, but it certainly means not the same. Find the Hatter, Alice. He knows more about different than you. But does he know more about the difference between bad and good? Making friends, Alice. You're as randomly lethal and entirely confused as you ever were. I've managed without you so far, Cat. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call if I need you. Predictably rash. It's not a question of if, Alice. It's when. Now hold on. And as they say, shut up. So typical. made more graceful entrances. I suppose I must be grateful nothing's broken. Good night. Hatter, I recall leaving you in a decrepit condition. But what? not in pieces. Uh, it's you. What's happened here? You've lost your hat, and some parts are missing. Missing indeed, though things being what they are. I barely miss their missing. As to what's happened, you should know that better than I. It's your place, after all. I know my place. When did you ever know your place, or how to keep it? Now, what's going on? What's going on? Round and up and down into my ears and through my eyes, up my nostrils, down my gullet, and whining in my guts. Papa was exceedingly fond of trains. I don't like them much. You won't like this one at all. Nothing like when Mock Turtle was in charge of the looking glass line. This railroad's a bloody shambles. The stink is ferocious, light, blinding, the noise, hellacious. Ah, quite, Tata. I get the idea. A bad train. The world is upside down, Alice. Inmates run the asylum. No, thanks. And worst of all, I've left tealess. Tragic. If I do help, will you help me in return? Cross my heart, if I had one. Find my limbs and toss them into the chute. Machines will do the rest. Be on your way now, that's a good girl. <laughs> Best way out is through the crock face. Our lovely library was a fire trap. A conflagration waiting to happen. Finish my work and you're complete, Hatter. Now, what about this damnable train? I feel like a new man, or whatever I am. I feel like an unsprung spring, like an uncorroded gear, like an untarnished bit of metal that sticks in your eye. Answer me, Hatter. I'm suffering. And changes here are a cause, or they're a reflection, or the effect. What's going on? What are the new rules? The law is just, just a whisper away, away home to wonder, wonder who, who knows how to measure rules with a ruler. Cruel rules. Mm. Idiot. I should have left you in bits. Come, the least you can do is help me discover what's going on.
We've found the source of the shaking, but are those two quaking? What are they up to? You'll never stop us, silly Hatter and Alice. It's left! You're too the late! The insolence, the arrogance, the execrable table manners! They are destroyers of Wonderland! Defilers, denuders, derangers! Delightful! Is present. Did they actually create that infernal train to destroy Wonderland? What does that matter? They deserve to die! Ah! Put me down this instant! I ought to... Enough talk! Battle time, missy! deserve to die, and I'm about to drown in tea in ignorance. Caught me very own ribbon, then. Saints be praised that he works in mysterious ways and got plans for her. Take her over to the oh. Mangle Mermaid. Rent a bed. <laughs> Aunt to woo a girl, Mr. Brawl. What do you think you're doing? What comes natural, like? Not natural to me. Get away. With another man. Where's me well, money, girl? you fucking spack you bucket? Like Get you those know fat the ass whores out on the disease. street or I'll come up and brain Start you. Start off, you cocker snipe. You'll never get past Long Tim. I'll get what you and your flusies owe me, Miss Ladybird. See if I don't. Maybe you notice I'm not pissing me drawers at the prospect. Alice Little, you'll make a nice change. Bring your disheveled self up here. On, you won't give me what I her. want? I'll burn this dump of yours down to the ground. Go away. She's done no harm. <laughs> she hurt me feelings. lunch.
Rex, all over. We submerged too quickly. My ship's a wreck, and I am too. Admirals go down with their ships. In any case, I never knew you for a sailor. If memory serves, you were station master of the Looking Glass Line. Mm-hmm. Sacked from the railroad, without the option. Redundant, the nitwits said. Never a holiday. Loyal as a bulldog, going in a different direction, my Aunt Fanny, if I had one. Going off the rails, more like. Bloody disaster. Now I'm shipless. The old railroad's dead. And this new thing's a monstrosity. It never runs on time. Engineers are asleep at the switch. What I don't know about it can't hurt me. Say no more. Nods as good as a wink. Change the subject. We avoid speaking about the thing whose name should not be spoken. Hearing something useful about this new train would make for a change? You don't respect the suffering of others. Go ask your questions and smart remarks to Caterpillar. I'm sorry, Admiral. Really. Please, tell me what you know about the train. I'll just say we've escaped a contaminating corruption. Count yourself lucky to be down here. But I don't want to escape. I want to stop it. I must stop it to save myself. And Wonderland, too. Nonsense. Speak more nonsense. Diversions rule the day. The show must go on and so on. Speaking of shows... We weren't. Yeah, well, never mind. Here's a ticket for the show Carpenter's Mounting. Use it. Ah, Alice! Delighted to see you again, my dear. Your arrival is filled with fortunatality itself. Really? I didn't even know... My pregnant show is about to pop. It requires only a medicament of your health velocity. I don't have much experience, but I do need to reconstruct my... We can barter. Have a nice screwdriver, nearly new, or a nice hammer if you're... There's a train that's corrupting Wonderland, and I'm looking for help to restrain or destroy it. Most vexatious, no doubt, would address that monstrosity directly. That's to say, eventually. Now... Let's intermediate more important matters. Due to a large hysterical foul-up, some of the show's requisites need to be gathered. The munificent script needs fetching. The writer's overly imaginative and exploring several endings. Then you'll need to assemble the show's tune-deft music. And finally, gather our stars! The show's tasty... Uh, nay, tasteful performers. You should leave now. The essentiality of haste is essential. It hardly seems you're ready for the show. Why can't you assemble these things yourself? An impresario has arrangements. Ducks in a row, fish to fry, calls to Newcastle, etc., etc. Fetch the script from the writer, then we can batter or clatter or natter as the case may be. Is the writer cantankerous? To a personage of your distinguished repudiation? I blush at the notionality. He's an octopus, by the by. Lives over that way. Ta-da! I was the last one in the library the night of the fire. The log I added to the grate was dead when I went upstairs to bed with Dinah. If it wasn't, I may be responsible for my family's deaths. That's quite enough of that, I think. Enough preliminaries. Here's the performance you've been waiting for. Proves I'm without prejudice and have a fine sense of humour. Sword and crown are worthless here. I invite everyone to dance. Labourers, lawyers, church and gown all make their little prance. This life is full of random deaths and heaps of grief and shame. So few are soothed by accident 
You want someone to blame? Fire, plague, and strange disease. Drowned, murdered, or if you please. A long fall down the basement stairs. None are expected. No one cares. I often must work very hard. Sweat running down my skin. After the dance, I then must rest. And the eating can begin. Time to eat. Death is the ultimate equalizer. All have the right to be eaten. <laughs> Get a knife, princess. Don't push. All will be served. So to speak. Wicked thing. Feasting while Wonderland is destroyed. I'm not the enemy you seek, Alice. I tried to hide this bit of Wonderland from that beast. Appeasement's never clean. We must all play our assigned roles. Are you a pawn or a queen? An idiot or a practiced fool? However this turns out, consider the prospect that you've been misled, Alice. Then ask, by whom? No! Who set that bloody train in motion? Where has it come from? It arrived when you arrived. And it's more horrible even than you could currently imagine. The death of a dream! Caterpillar may know how! What? The blood in my mouth tastes like bile. Where's the brute that hit me, Nanny? Nasty prats out cold. Not dead and more's the pity. What did you want? What they all want. Money didn't earn. What were you thinking, butting into that mess? You could have been killed. Nanny, my mind's in pieces. I still have terrible visions and I need to know. Out the fire. Same as always. You need to move on, Alice. So do I. Well, at least she's not spewing that asylum nonsense. My past is dead, I killed them, I should have saved them, I should have died. Her mind was in shambles. Radcliffe thought familiar faces would bring her round. After a year, he lost interest in their inheritance, greedy sod. Still, always asking his bizarre questions. Heavy dose of madness, I'd say, but honest is never the best policy in this life. When she wasn't comatose, she gaped, eyes like pinwheels, drooled, occasionally squeaked, never uttered a sensible sound. And like the child she was, she kept her secrets close. Gone off some lurkers, common as cockroaches. And those poor tykes are food for perverts, like the blameless ants that wasps consume or spiders feeble prey. You visited my room at Rutledge. What you were you- You call that? Radcliffe paid me for a bit. A woman alone sometimes does what she doesn't particularly feel like doing, as you know. Nurse Whitler said you'd fallen on hard times. I'm no drunk like her. I'm hurting no one. Hooking's not a bad life. Except for the pimps. She also said you might have my rabbit. Please, Nanny, talk about the damn fire. Never seems to help. Look, Alice, I can't give you what I don't have. Radcliffe wrote the inquest report. I'll take you to him. Besides, he's got your damn rabbit. You should remember that. All right, but Mr. Radcliffe's useless. <sighs> don't I know it. Little, Mr. Radcliffe. Ah, oh, you're back. I suppose you better come up. Mind the latch. You do have my rabbit. Forgotten your manners? And what else, I wonder? You abandoned it at Rutledge Asylum, my dear. We've been over this before. In a huff as usual. Oozing with attitude and accusatory flummery, I've stolen her rabbit. Ridiculous pretext. She's here about the fire again. All the mad child wants to talk about. My report found her family dead by misadventure. She won't accept it. It goes on and on about her killing memories. 
and her need to know the truth. The alleged truth is, the fire began in the library when the cat knocked over a lamp. The blaze trapped her parents and sister upstairs. Sister Lizzie never even unlocked her door, died in her bed. The guilty cat always sets her off, she denies it, makes no sense, it can't be, etc. Agreed. And from the outset, Alice was my candidate for the pyromaniac. The girl had a fixation with fire. And I once remarked that I thought she might have had a larger role in causing the tragedy. She suffered some sort of psychotic episode. Did I rip his head off? I wanted to. What's left of my brain will explode. Is it mad to pray for better hallucinations? Perhaps I'm fated to expire right here. This bloody ruin! It's corrupting all of Wonderland! Seeking refuge from the wicked world? Perhaps things only look like they've gone to hell. You're not that good a liar, and I'm not that stupid. But something a bit less calamitous would have been welcome. This unmitigated disaster is your doing, and it will get worse. Your train keeps a hellish schedule. Get moving. Time waits for no one. The change has begun. The train is perfectly capable of terrifying me, Cat. You should find another job. Is there really so little hope? There's even less, and if fear paralyzes you, we are lost. You are familiar with the saying that smoking stunts your growth? Adults assault children with that adage, usually while they've got a pipe stuck in their mouths. I won't ask you to inhale. Let the smoke envelop you. Save my life. I survived because she showed me how to escape. I didn't leave the lamp in the library, and Dinah didn't knock it over. The lamp and Dinah were upstairs when I went to bed. Dinah was in the room with me when the fire started. This way to find a simulacrum. If I had the time, I'd detail how often you prefer dealing with illusions rather than the real thing. Problems you refuse to deal with don't exist. You deny reality. That's not right. I know what's real. No? Then you allow others to tell you what isn't real. Now, come inside. My memories are shattered. This wicked train has ruined nearly all I can recall. And Wonderland will perish completely as I lose my mind. So much has changed. I can't help Wonderland if I can't help myself. Much has changed, but you've got it backwards. Save Wonderland and you may save yourself. The carpenter was onto something, but he was hiding from the real. Your goal is to accept it. Where should I go then? What should I do? The Queen must be served, Alice. The Queen, in all her guises, must always be served. How can she stem this growing corruption or assess my search? What does she know that I don't? She is someone you once knew and loved. Time changes us all. Not all change is good. 
Remember that when you find the Queen. Enough of that. Coming to regulate this, Nick Ellis. We'll see this time, Fred. Howling outside the old lady, muttering about a murder in Threadneedle Street, cursing insects on the National Railroad. Had to bring her in, didn't I? Chut, 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 chut. Menace to herself. But no danger to have her, surely. She don't belong in jail. Too true, but where then does she belong? Let's walk her out, Fred. Send her back to Dr. Bambi. He raised holy hell last time I kept her overnight. Oh, what happened? Same night Jack splattered at the waste of mother's love was nabbed for gutting that heavy outside a mermaid. Yeah, I was taking Alice down and uh, we meet two coppers walking Jack to the cells. He's mad than the usual I'd never. Wrong bloke nonsense uh, when he sees Alice. That's a bitch what done it, he yells. She screams, you miserable cur, you leech, you maggot, living off another's labour, etc, etc. I'm admiring her line of inquiry, but suddenly she hits her head or something and fates. Couldn't send her home, could I? And Dr. Bumby pitched a fit. Said he'd have me jobbing me arse on a plate. <laughs> Told him he could have the former. <laughs> Leave the latter alone, thank you very much. Good night, Alice. <laughs> you know the way out. to admire your handiwork, returning to the scene of the crime. It had to be done, Cat. You said so yourself. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. She is a cancer in your body. Excise her or perish. Well, she was the face of evil in the heart of darkness. She didn't treat you too well last time. Lost your head, as I recall. She was completely deranged. You picked up her crown, but now you've put it down. You must speak to her, what's left of her anyway. Lizzie hated locked rooms. Her room was further from the fire than mine. Smoke could not have killed her. She never locked her door. And besides, she knew another way out of the house. Out of the window. Someone incapacitated or killed Lizzie. Then locked her door, then took the lamp downstairs and started the fire to cover up their crime. Their plan was to kill us all. expecting someone else. You don't know your own mind. It's nearly a complete stranger. What you claim not to know is merely what you've denied. You've recaptured your vagrant memories. What are you doing with them? You once rejected my attempts to control our lives forcefully. Now you've allowed another to succeed in my role. I won't miss your tentacles. You'd prefer 
the hot, stinking breath and unyielding attention of a potent, unreasoning, unfeeling Hellraiser? I don't think so. Can you give me more than a warning? Caterpillar said you might help. I'd need a better reason to respond than what's currently on offer. If you don't, we're all doomed. Not doomed. Forgotten. I may survive here, but you're finished. You see the pattern of destruction? I know you do. The train is trying to destroy all evidence of your past, and especially the fire. Now, who would want that? Who benefits from your madness? The destruction of Wonderland is the destruction of me. Indeed. And vice versa. I've set it in motion. I can derail it. This is good for me. I'm not in sack. I didn't kill my family. I am fine. I'm not mad. I'm innocent. I, I mean, not guilty. What's happening? What are you doing? The train must be stopped. But there's more to do. Your view conceals a tragedy. The whole truth you claim to see eludes you because you won't look at what's around you. There is no method in this madness. My professional opinion, madness is often a treatable disease, though perhaps not in this case. Authority must be obeyed, or it must be overthrown. Cruel to be kind, that's my technique, as they say. But she's as mad as a hat on poor dearie. Worst is over, and over, and over. Forget it, Alice. Forget it. Can't distinguish reality from illusion. Remember your last journey? An elephant never forgets where she left her trunk. When traveling by train, a valise. Never bigger than your head. I may be wrong, Your Grace, but I doubt it. Down this path of primordial ooze and sideways. Indeed, Doctor, well demanded, I'm sure. I mean to say, it's very hot in here. I mean to say, fuzzy. And she's no helping. Oh, no, no help at all. Humiliation, I say. I approve your release, and back you come like a bad penny. Reputation in ruins. People talk, Alice. I'm an old dog. Ready to bone, don't you know? Loyalty. You must never run away from home. Stay, Alice. Sit. If it isn't what's her name from the idiot's ward. Yeah, it's Alice. Uncle's prize lunatic. The instruments are gruesome, but a hole in the head gives the troubles more space. Just the thing for your stone of madness. Good facetious too, maybe. You must be as sick of those as I am hearing you whinge about them. Some mental conditions are relieved by bloodletting. Doctor thinks it won't be effective against your symptoms, but I am at the end of my tether, and these leeches need the work. A baker's dozen, nurse. Let me put them on her. Oh, me, me. I can make them hurt. Come now, Alice. Am I not to be as much honored and obeyed as the Queen? Is that asking too much? I want what she wanted. Give yourself over to that. Trade the tentacles for the train. It's altogether a better ride. It's that, or back to Rutledge. Never a kind word or reward for services rendered. Don't I deserve a bit of luck? Don't piss on what's right now. And to me, I say, brought you out of the asylum. Now you go back on your own accord. I told your mother, dear. You're a distant and stubborn child, too content in her own world. Young women need to leave their wonderlands. The real world is not so wonderful. You'll need to grow up. Perhaps some more time in care? You look decent enough, but appearances deceive. I know you're for an unstable and violent person. I can't say I'm surprised you've been incarcerated in the asylum again. A long stay under supervision would serve you right. Help, Alice! We need your help! Don't desert us! Again! Don't ignore us! Why do you suffer? The Queen's tyranny is just a memory. She has no power over you, does she? Our 
enemies come and go. But now a new evil reigns, and this fiend's malevolence has eclipsed the conquered queens. a role in my family's demise, but I did not start the fire. Centaurs don't live in Oxford, but a certain doctor did. I saw him, a preening undergraduate. Now I remember him. That key belongs to Lizzie's room. and selfish of fortune's fools. Oblivious, I live in a training ground for prostitutes. My mentor is an abuser and purveyor. I've been complicit with my sister's murderer and the killer of my family as he corrupted my mind. I sought relief from my pain and you turned me away from the truth. You are almost there, almost free from what you fear. You could have been cured. You could have forgotten. Abandon the memory of my family. They are dead, and you should be too. You misbegotten abomination. Murderer, you blood-sucking parasite. The damage you've done to children. The abuse. I provide a service. In the great and awful metropolis, appetites of all sorts must be gratified. My family. My mind. The infernal train. The train is your invention, your defense. I merely set its schedule and itinerary. The train is coming with its shiny cars, with comfy seats and wheels of stars. So hush, my little ones, have no fear. The man in the moon is the engine here. I'll stop that train if it's the last thing I do. As you wish. Lust. And where your body is, your mind will follow. Perhaps it's already there. You oozing sore of depravity! Children wearing their names around their necks as if they're breeding livestock! A declaration of their pedigree. You could use one. They're proud to display their provenance. <laughs> You brute! They can't remember who they are or where they're from. How many minds have you twisted into forgetfulness? Not enough. Yours would have been a triumph. Still, you're an insane wreck. My work is done. train and the evil force that drives it. Everything's a nail, is it, Miss Hammerhead? First it was all search, freighted with fear and fragmented memories. Now it's the train. Never time for tea. Are your brains on holiday? We are ruined. Now we're all mad here, and that's a good excuse for going to hell in the teapot, but not for forgetting what your sense is so. Forgetting is just forgetting, except when it's not. Then they call it something else. I'd like to forget what you did. I've tried, but I can't. You've used me and abused me, but you will not destroy me. No, the damage is done. The old Alice and her Wonderland retreat are demolished. You can't even recognize what's happened, and you're powerless to change it or move against me. I've made certain of that. Come to receive your punishment, then. I know I'm guilty of something, 
But punishment never suits the victims of the crime. Abuse is a crime the strong visit on the weak. And you're right, abusers are insufficiently punished for the damage they do. Those who witness abuse without seeking retribution for the harm pay a penalty. Your own pain mitigates your failure to act earlier, but you may not yet have paid enough for witnessing the pain of others. You corrupted my memories, but you failed to make me forget. I could have made you into a tasty bit. Clients out the door waiting for a piece from a raving delusional beauty with no memory of the past or no sense of the future. But you wouldn't forget. You insisted on holding on to your fantasies. You're mad, like your sister. Don't speak of her. You didn't know her. Your sister was a tease, pretended to despise me. She got what she wanted in the end. What is this train's destination? Madness and destruction. You shouldn't ask questions you know the answer to. It's not polite. And that noise wasn't Lizzie talking in her sleep. Oh, no! Oh, poor Lizzie! And there are no centaurs in Oxford. Make your survival mean something, or we are all doomed! Charged. In prison, some half-wit bruiser will make you his sweetheart, and then you'll hang. Indeed. A hysterical woman, former lunatic, roaring outrageous accusations against a respectable social architect and scientist. My God, Alice, who would believe you? I scarcely believe it myself. You, monstrous creature. Such evil will be punished. By whom? By what? Psychotic, silly bitch. Your madness will be punished. Now leave. I'm expecting your replacement. go home again. No surprise, really. Only a very few find the way, and most of them don't recognize it when they do. Delusions to die hard. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. Forgetting pain is convenient. Remembering it, agonizing. But recovering the truth is worth the suffering. And our wonderland, though damaged, is safe in memory for now.